Hey, you know you're approaching a new year, right? And the goals don't change. I want to lose a few pounds. I want to get tall. I'm going to eat healthy. All of that. But how are you going to do that? There's an app for that. Our app. Just send an email with your interest. And we're doing a new year promo. Why spend $300 or more a week on a personal trainer when you can do it for way less in a month? With just an app. The first 10 people to sign up will get the app at 50% off. For more info, message us on Instagram. You can reach me at Kitty Pine or you can reach me at David Lee Comedy. And we'll get you working towards your 2022 fitness goals. All, All right. right. Hello again and welcome to Kitty vs. David. I'm Kitty. I'm David. Okay, so we need to remember that this is an audio podcast only. So what? So what? We closed the last episode with thanks for watching. What? You don't remember? Let's play it back. Thank you, Thank for, you watching. for watching. Oh, All right. Right. You see? No, I hear. David. What's today's episode about? Today we are talking about different hats. I only have two. What? No, not actual hats, David. Different professions, skills, duties, jobs, etc. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm a comedian, personal trainer, and bodybuilder. And I'm a video producer, poster designer, and bodybuilder as well. Sometimes, sometimes I do comedy, but most of my attention goes to production. But first, before we go into that, I just want to say sorry, David. I missed your set as soon as I got off stage last time. I had to go. No, nah, no worries. But how did you do? I did all right. I mean, you always kill like you did that night, and I haven't been doing too hot lately, so I don't know. Might be time to hang it up for me. But if you quit, then we won't have that in common anymore. But we still have the gym. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, go away. I mean, away from comedy. I've got it covered for the both of us. I have one more show before I disappear. Oh, yeah, and that's going to be next week. What, Thursday? Yeah, yeah. At the Ventura Ventura Harbor Comedy Club. And you're doing it. Yes, I am. It's going to be featuring Kitty Pineapple, but on the day before oh, your wow. show. Okay. Yeah. Road trip. Road trip. You know what that means, right? What? We have to do a road podcast. Yeah. What? Episode what? Like four? Episode four. Road trip. Okay, now let's get on with the show. All right, let's do this. Since our last episode, so many things have happened, ladies and gentlemen, that we're going to cover. What are we going to cover? Well, we're going to talk about uh, different hats. We're going to talk about the performances that we just had and how, how that went. The experience of um, having been on stage or sharing the stage together, finally. And then we're going to discuss uh, future plans for who's going to come on this podcast as a guest. Because we need a guest. Yes, we do need a guest. Because, uh, you know, it can't just be, <laughs> it can't always be you and me talking. What's wrong with just you and me? This is this show needs some kind of structure, some kind of direction of where it's going to go or what it's about. What is this show all about? Like I said, this show is about wearing different hats and it's and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to talk to other people, comedians too, and um and learn and 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 get insight on their experiences. Yeah, and then okay, yeah. Okay. David, I have to tell you something. What? I did something. What did you do? I wrote new stuff. Um, that's your job. I know, but I've slacked on that job. Okay, did you perform it? I did. And how did you do? Here, I'll play it for you and everyone so they can hear how it went. Just, just a, just a one, you know, just a bit. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel right now. My wife, I have a wife, you know, she's a woman. She asked me if I was trans. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's like, I, I'm like, no, honey, if, if I was trans, you would know. And there's no way I'm going to stand in line to use the restroom. Because <laughs> I will switch gears fast. If I see a line for the women's restroom, I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to go to the urinal and stand in my beauty. This is where I belong. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening with this whole thing right here. I'm really not. It started off as a character, and then eventually it started to form its own thing. It's like one of those, it's like having a, 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 having a girlfriend that you didn't know was your girlfriend yet. You bring her over one night, she needs a toothbrush. The next night, she needs some clothes. Years later, you're wondering, why the fuck am I moving out of my own home? <laughs> But for me, it was like, okay, it started with the red hair. 
and then I got the red toenails. And now I'm wondering, why the fuck does my dick have to leave his own home? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> I'm Katie Pineapple. I love how we Wow, don't you love that? See, you've got this idea in your head that you worked out and it's a success. It was scary at first, but you gotta do it. You have to be willing to look like a fool if you want to look amazing. That sounds kind of contradictory, but I get the sentiment. Well, if you're constantly editing, how are you going to get your original point across? That's true. So in, in that bit, you talked about your wife asking if you were trans. Yeah, yeah, she asked if I was trans. And, and, and to be fair, I am in trans in my head. I just haven't really officially come out yet. I don't know how to. I don't know the proper steps. I don't know the rules or whatever. Are, are there rules? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. This is all so new to me. All I know is that I, I, I love what I'm doing. I love who I am. And that's... All I want to do. That's all, all I want to be. Okay, how did your wife feel? I mean, she asked you this. She must have some kind of concern. How many times she, did she ask you? She asked me about three times. Okay, so she's kind of concerned, right? <laughs> yeah, she is concerned. I mean, you, I would be too, you know, uh, you know, because like first she marries a man and all of a sudden she's a lesbian. <laughs> Again, <laughs> again, yeah, but we're, we'll talk about that later. That's that's you know, whatever. If she asked you, what did you say? Um, like I said, I told her you would, honey, no, I'm not trans, you would know if I'm trans. And then she responded with, um, you know, if you wanted to be a, a woman, I wouldn't judge you. And what did you say? I stayed quiet. I was like, no, I'm good, I'm, I'm still, you know, me. But you didn't mean that. I don't know. See, I, I I don't know. All I know is that when she said that, I kind of lit up inside a little bit. I was like, oh, maybe I should take her up on that and let her know, hey, honey, uh, we're going to be using the same clothes now. You and me, we're going to share the closet. I have my own clothes. You have your own clothes. But we can even exchange clothes because we kind of fit because we're the same size a little bit, even though I'm a little bit buffer. I mean, okay, I'm a lot buffer. Because she's petite and I am huge. You see, you see me. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty big. And uh, <laughs> I remember, they, okay, but when you first started, when you first started doing you, um, did you have your own clothes or did you have to borrow from your wife? I had to borrow a few things from my wife, just a jacket and a purse. And that was it. I went to, I went to Ross and... Um, when I went to Ross, I, I, I was kind of just going minimal. You know, I just needed some kind of sweater, a sports bra, and maybe, and some leggings. That's all I needed. Yeah, I get that. So you wanted to go for a, like a fitness chick look, right? Yeah. So I, okay. So I go to Ross, right? And I'm, I'm presenting as a male and I go up, to, I, I find the leggings. I find the, 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 um, the hell. I find a sports bra. And I got to let you, okay, okay. Um, and this was pre-COVID. So when I went into the dressing room, I was able to go inside. But before I got there, there was a lady that told me to put my clothes on the rack. Okay, what's wrong with that? Well, if, if there, when I put the clothes on the rack, there were, there were two other guys behind me. And I was, I was like holding the clothes in front of me, looking at the lady. I was like, there's two items in my hand. Just let me through, okay? See? Okay. That's good. Are we good? I'm not stealing anything. And then what? Um, and then I went in. But, you know, like, you know, you know how sometimes you do something? You know, you know how sometimes you feel like you maybe have to pee, but you're like, nah, it's not that bad. I'll, I'll go later. Yeah? That's what I did. I went later. Uh Okay, so what? Okay, I go inside and and then I um I put on the leggings and the leggings look nice and then I put on the sports bra and the sports bra was tight and then I when when it was time to take off the sports bra I was stuck. You know, you, you do the thing where you pull the sports bra from the bottom of your, your chest and then, and you try to lift it over your head and you're like, uh, uh, this, this uh, 
and you're stuck. And uh, let me tell you, that is a nightmare because when you're in that situation, I, I told you I had, I thought I had to pee before that just made it worse. It made the urge just go even crazier. <laughs> so, so I'm over there. So wait, wait, wait. So you get stuck in your bra and then, and then what? So I'm in there, right? I'm struggling to get this sports bra off. I've never gotten a sports bra off of me before. I've never even put one on before. And so when I'm put taking this office and, and my muscles are like, like in the way there, it, it was a small bra. I'll just say that. I didn't know that I thought I was small because I didn't have, you know, actual boobs. So I, I, I'm struggling. And while I'm struggling, the urge gets stronger and stronger. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I am going to squirt in these leggings. <laughs> you squirted, didn't you? I did. And then I bought the leggings because I didn't want anyone to buy them. That, that would be messed up. So... Why didn't you just run out? And, because and I was presenting as a male. I wasn't going to go into the men's restroom wearing leggings and a sports bra and then stand at the urinal, like I said in my joke earlier. But I know you have a story that you want to you wanna share, David. Um, okay, there's one instance where, okay. Um, yeah, like I told, I told you I do a character piece, and, and there's a whole community that only knows my character exists. And they don't know that I, David, exists at all. What do you mean? I've only shown them my character. Okay, so so how come they don't know who you are? Oh, you, okay, okay. Every time they see you, you're in character, and they don't know who you really are. I get well, it. Well, there was this one time, um, and this is my, this, there was this one time I, uh, I didn't want to dress up because I didn't, it didn't, it didn't make sense to get ready for the amount of time that I was going to be out. How long were you going to be out? Maybe about half an hour to an hour. Oh, yeah. It probably takes about longer than that to get ready. Yeah. 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 You know, because you, you do it too. Yes. It's so frustrating. You're like, I just put this on and I have to go home already. I may as well go somewhere else. I'm going to use this look. I don't want to waste this look. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that. Oh, okay. So, 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 what, so what happened? Well, I didn't, I didn't get dressed and uh, I decided, you know, if I, screw it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to wear any makeup. I'm not going to dress up. I'm not going to do any of that. So I took my friend to a, uh, I took my friend to a, um, a, my cousin's 40th birthday party and, um, and I could feel, and I could feel my cousins, not my, my, no, not the celebrant, but I could feel my other cousins and my aunties looking at me with my female friend with those judging eyes, you oh, know? Oh, so they thought you were cheating on your wife. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I just want to tell them, no. It's weirder than that. And that was it. And I, and, I, and I was like, you know what? I should have I should, I should have dressed up. I should have dressed up. I didn't I don't care. The family can see, I don't care. I don't I don't give a shit. I would rather them see that than thinking that I was um, you know, cheating on my wife because I'm not. Well, I I do we have any guests lined up? Yes. Uh coming up and uh, coming up in uh, in future episodes, we're going to have um comedian and hairdresser Angie Crumb. Angie, I love her. She does my hair like all, all the time. Not all the time. In fact, I just started learning how to do my own hair, but she does it really good. And to help us with that episode, um, we're going to have Angie Crumb. You know, I worked with her numerous times. And most recently, I've been working with her as well. I like, yeah, I've been working with her as well. You train her. She does my hair. It's the best deal ever. Yeah, because you just get to be pretty. Oh, you think I'm pretty? That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm just saying, you get to get your hair done, and um, I have to count reps for you to get your hair done. Mm, I guess it works out. Because she works out. <laughs> get oh it? Gosh. It works out. And I believe we're going to have Tanner Tuttle on this show too as well. I don't know when, but he said he was down to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tanner. Um, you guys just did a show in Cedar City together 
with a few other comics, right? Yes, that was so fun. And um, yeah, he because he's originally from Cedar City. And um, and it was nice to, to perform outside of Las Vegas. Okay, before we before before we uh, end this, I just want to I want to I want to get into that real quick because you, Kitty, you performed at Cedar City in Utah. Utah is a very Mormon state. How did that go? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Well, uh, when I got there, you know, everyone's everyone was really nice. Everyone at the hotel was really nice, but. I was apprehensive to go inside of the gas stations anywhere in the state in, in the state because I wasn't sure people uh, were ready for me or were accepting. I wasn't sure. I mean, when you go to when you go when I went to the hotel, it was ex- it, it, they kind of already knew who I was because I've been there before, and um, and they're and they're working. They're not going to be rude. They work in the hotel. They're, why, why would they do that? Oh yeah. And then how did your set go? Gosh, it was amazing. I had fun. Everybody had fun. All the comics did well. Uh, special shout out to Tickle Me Comedy Club for bringing us out there. It sounds like we got a few people that are going to be coming on this show. And um, we're going to talk about their lives and, and the different hats that they wear. Yes, you see, now we have a theme. A, to- a, a, a theme of what we're going to talk about almost on every episode because n- nobody's ever the same. Oh, that's true because everybody does something different. Yeah. I mean, you have co- you have comedians, but they're not just comedians. They have other jobs too to support their to support their craft. They're, I mean, unless they're they're a working full-time comedian and then that's all they do. But I'm sure even if that's all they do, they have other traits, other skills, other things that they like to do other than comedy. It can't just always be comedy. I don't know. I've seen a few people that, I don't know, that just do comedy. That's it. That's all they do with their lives. Oh, well, whatever. To each their but own. But anyway, we should, we should end this right now. Yes. It's what? It's been, a, it's been a little while already. I think it's a little more than what we're used to recording. And you're going to have a lot to edit later. Yes, I am going to have a lot to edit. Thank you for reminding me. What? It's what you do. Yes, I know, but I've just... I don't know if you guys... I don't know if you know, but I just... I, I think I told you. Um, I. No, you didn't tell me. Oh, oh I, I just finished two features. A, a comedy special and a documentary on that special. Oh, wow. So you've been editing, editing for like what? Like a whole freaking month. And, uh, uh, and and for the last two weeks, that's all I freaking did. Just went, I came home. I was at home all the time, upstairs in my office, editing. Oh my gosh, what a life! That's not fun. Did you even get out? Yeah, I got out a little bit. I mean, I I, I did that show last week, and that was that was cool. And I want to do a sh- and then I'm you know and oh my gosh, that's yeah. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Um, so um, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Thank you, everybody. And uh, we'll be back next week or maybe even sooner because I feel like there's a lot we could cover more um, if we had maybe an extra episode in the week. So maybe two a week. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, I did it you again. did it again. You're the one that even told us that we, gotta, we can't say thanks okay. for watching. Sorry to start over. Um, thank you for listening, and I'm Kitty. I'm David. And you've been listening to Kitty versus David. So thank you. Aloha. All, All right. right.